Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel World and Wonders Tarot. This is your about last night reading where we take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using a variety of tarot decks so I'm going to go ahead and leave that information down in the description box and as you can see I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled the cards. All of my cards are red in the upright position so let's get started Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, this side represents you, this side represents your person, and I have two advice cards here for you after the reading. So right now we're going to take a look at you and see what's going on on your side. You're showing up as the King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is just like the Queen of Pentacles. These are very generous uh, people, loyal, kind, caring, and giving people. This is the person who has a job and who takes care of your family, okay? You may even own your own business, but this is a very solid giving um, person who, who, you know, will give, will do whatever they need to do for their family. Okay, so let's see what happened in the past um, between you and your person. You have the 10 of swords. So this is all about devastation. So I feel like your person broke your heart and it was, it was whatever they did was beyond you know, just, I want to break up, a breakup, a typical breakup. This is devastating, okay? This person devastated you, okay? Um, what's going on right now is the Five of Pentacles. So I do feel like the devastation that was caused by this Ten of Swords is this person left you. This person left. Um, as we can see with this Five of Pentacles, this person feels alone. This person left you alone to handle everything. Again, if you have kids with this person, this person left you with the kids. They just picked up and they, they took off and they left that financial responsibility and burden on you, okay? Um, so that's why this uh, situation is very devastating. So in the near future, you have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with this, this is telling me that maybe you're going to give to this connection again, give to this person. I'm gonna hold off on this um, uh, Aquarius to see what that Six of Pentacles really represents. I'll come back to that Six of Pentacles. So your person is showing up as the hanged man. So in a relationship reading, the hanged man is not the best card to get when it comes to um, love and romance. I feel like your person had this hanged man energy and I feel like they just didn't know what to do about you or this connection. And I felt feel like this is about sacrificing um, you know, your happiness for someone else. So I feel like this person, um, maybe they felt unhappy in this connection for some reason or another, and they felt like it was a burden maybe to be in the connection. I'm not sure, but this person, this is not the best card to have. I feel like this person was indecisive. They didn't know whether they wanted to stay or go. They didn't even know whether they wanted to be in a true connection. So that's the energy that this person has, um, a confused person. In the um, past, in the recent past, this person is showing up as um, the empress or the, the energy of the past is the empress. So I feel like, again, you could have a family with this person. You could have kids with this person. Um, this is someone who promised that they were going to be there forever. And, you know, um, they wanted to have a family. This person thought they wanted to be a parent, all that good stuff. They, they preached all this to you, but um, I feel like this is the past. This is what they presented themselves as. I do feel like maybe this person had kids or promised that they wanted to have kids with you, um, or this could mean part of this Ten of Swords, this devastation of the past is um, the fact that this person may have had um, children with someone else, okay? All right, so that could be what they did to devastate you in the past. Um, but it definitely has to do with a family, longevity, uh, building something together. I feel like they failed um, in that area for you. And, and with this Ten of Swords, that devastated you. Um, and again, with this Five of Pentacles, you know, they left you feeling high and dry. They, they left you high and dry feeling lonely. Okay. But, um, okay, so I see where this Six of Pentacles is tying in. So your person is coming through right now with the Page of Pentacles energy. So I feel like this person is trying to get back together with you. I feel like um, with this Pentacle in this person's hand, I feel like this person is kind of like coming back for financial, I, financial, financial reasons, I feel like they're looking at you as a financial opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the Six of Pentacles because you um, are giving money to this person or in the future, this person is going to ask you for money and I feel like you um, will be giving money to this person if you not 
if you are not already giving this person money. Mm -hmm. So I do feel like this person is back with you because of money situations. Um, in the near future, your person has the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this person is someone who, you know, self entrapped. I feel like this person cannot stand on their own two feet. I feel like this person relies on you for money or will rely on you for money. I feel like this is not a good card to have in the near future for this person. I feel like you need to question why this person is coming back into your life after this person had left. And I feel like this person just cannot stand on their own two feet. I feel like this person is used to people taking care of, of him or her. I feel like you were a good person and this person went out there, they left out of the situation and they, can't, they cannot make it. So I feel like this person is going to to be uh, relying on you, Aquarius, um, for, you know, financially, financially. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm seeing that you were very generous to someone. This person left. This person devastated you with this Ten of Swords. This person betrayed you. And with this Five of Pentacles, this person left you high and dry. And they're gonna have the nerve to come back and ask you um, for your kindness, for your generosity again. This person wants back in because this person got out there and they couldn't make it on their own, okay? With the with the hangman, this person didn't know what they wanted, um, Aquarius. They didn't know what they wanted. So um, that's what I'm seeing. Um, let's look at your advice cards. You have the death card and justice. I feel like the advice is to end this, leave it alone. Justice represents, you know, you don't deserve this, getting what you deserve and you don't deserve this type of, um, you know, person, this type of behavior. And I feel like the advice with this death card is to, this death card, did I say death? Death card is to leave the situation alone, end it and move on because you don't deserve this type of treatment. Okay, and the bottom of the deck for this uh, row is the world card. So this is all about, um, you know, moving on, leaving one cycle behind and moving on to the new part of your life. So um, I feel like you need to move away from this situation. The bottom of the deck for your person, they have the six of wands. So they are, they do want a new beginning with you. They want to win you over. They want to get back with you, okay? The bottom of the deck for you is the Ace of Wands. So this is about a new passionate opportunity. So maybe you're excited that this person is coming back to you, or maybe you're gonna go ahead and take the advice and end it and start something new with someone else, okay? Oh, I think so. I think that's what you're gonna do because the next card down is the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like you're gonna move on from the situation and start something new, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, that's what I'm seeing to here today. Good luck with this situation. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful day.